Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 7 plus x to the power 8 plus x to the power 9 divided by x to the power 6 plus x to the power 8 plus x to the power 10 is equal to 1 over 3. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start x to the power 7 plus x to the power this 8 can be written as 7 plus 1 plus x to the power this 9 can be written as 7 plus 2 divided by x to the power 6 plus x to the power this 8 can be written as 6 plus 2 plus x to the power this 10 can be written as 6 plus 4 is equal to 1 over 3. Next, x to the power 7 plus, by using this power rule, a to the power m plus n is equal to a to the power m times a to the power n. This x to the power 7 plus 1 will become x to the power 7 times x plus this x to the power 7 plus 2 will become x to the power 7 times x squared divided by x to the power 6 plus this x to the power 6 plus 2 will become x to the power 6 times x squared plus this x to the power 6 plus 4 will become x to the power 6 times x to the power 4 is equal to 1 over 3. Now from the numerator we can factor out x to the power 7. x to the power 7 as common factor and in bracket left 1 plus x plus x squared divided by from the denominator, we can factor out x to the power 6. x to the power 6 as common factor and in bracket left 1 plus x squared plus x to the power 4 is equal to 1 over 3. Now, this x to the power 7 can be written as x to the power 6 times x times we rearrange these terms we write this x squared first x squared plus x plus 1 divided by x to the power 6 times we rearrange these terms we write this x to the power 4 first x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1 is equal to 1 over 3. Now, this x to the power 6 will be cancelled out with this x to the power 6. And uh, here we are left with uh, x times uh, x squared plus uh, x plus 1 divided by x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1 is equal to 1 over 3. Next, x times x squared plus x plus 1 divided by, now we want to write this expression in the denominator of perfect square by using this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. So, we write this uh, x to the power 4 as uh, x squared whole squared. We write this uh, plus 1 as, uh, we write this plus 1 as uh, plus 1 squared. Now, we have uh, a squared and uh, b squared. So, we write here 2ab plus uh, 2 times uh, in place of a we have x squared x squared times uh, in place of b we have 1 squared 
So we write here 1. Now this expression 2 times x squared times 1 is 2x squared. And in the original expression we have x squared. So to make this 2x squared equal to this x squared we subtract x squared from this expression. So from here we subtract x squared is equal to 1 over 3. Next x times x squared plus x plus 1 divided by by using this algebraic identity this x squared whole squared plus 2 times x squared times 1 plus 1 squared will become x squared plus 1 whole squared minus this x squared is equal to 1 over 3. Next x times x squared plus x plus 1 divided by now in the denominator we have a difference of a 2 squares. So by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This x squared plus 1 whole squared minus x squared will become x squared plus 1 plus x times x squared plus 1 minus x is equal to 1 over 3. Now this x squared plus x plus 1 will be cancelled out with this x squared plus 1 plus x. And here we are left with x divided by this x squared plus 1 minus x can be written as x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 3. Now from here we use cross multiplication. We multiply this 1 by this expression and we multiply this 3 by this x. So 1 times this expression x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 3 times x 3x. Now we move this 3x to the left hand side then x squared minus x minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. And x squared minus 1x minus 3x will become minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4 and c is equal to 1. And according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative value of b is negative 4 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 4 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 1 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1. Next x is equal to negative times negative 4 positive 4 plus or minus square root of this negative 4 squared is positive 16 minus 4 times 1 times 1 4 divided by 2 times 1 2. Next x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 4 12 divided by 2. And x is equal to 4 plus minus this square root of 12 can be written as square root of 4 times square root of 3 divided by 2. 
and x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 3 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2. 2 as common factor and in bracket left 2 plus minus root 3 divided by 2. Now, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get a 2 values of x. x 1 is equal to 2 plus root 3 and x 2 is equal to 2 minus root 3. So, these are the two solutions of this equation.